So Samsung has pretty much been dominating the smartphone market this year thanks to its hugely successful flagship, the Galaxy S7. So much so that it was able to beat the iPhone 6s in terms of sales. Now the Korean giant is back with its newest flagship, the Galaxy Note 7. But as you can expect, the Note 7 packs all the coolest specs that are currently deemed as extremely high end. These specs include a 5.7 inch 2K a Super AMOLED dual edge screen Gorilla Glass 5 display a quad-core Snapdragon 820 processor for the US variants and an octa-core Exynos processor for the international market. It has finally brought back support for microSD up to 256GB. It has 4GB of RAM, a 12MP of f1.7, optical image stabilized rear camera and a 5MP front camera for those super important selfies. In terms of charging, it includes a USB-C port that supports fast charging. It has a pretty large 3500mAh our battery and also an iris scanner which is so far does not have an application beyond unlocking your phone. It also has a very snappy fingerprint scanner which we came to expect at this point. It's easy to say that Samsung took a conservative approach overall to the Galaxy Note 7. It's hardly a stagnant device when compared directly to the Note 5. But the extreme similarities to the Galaxy S7 Edge indicates that Samsung didn't feel the need to try and reinvent the wheel. Unlike Notes of the past, the Note 7 isn't a solo standout. Industry leading device that blows the doors off of everything else with more features, power and appeal than the competition. Instead that duties now spread across three phones, the Samsung Galaxy S7, Galaxy S7 Edge, and Galaxy Note 7. But I want to know from you guys, are you guys excited to get your hands on the Note 7? Drop it in the comment section down below, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and of course subscribe to the channel. And being the fact that RG is now back, expect to see more videos like this one coming very very soon, and I'll see you guys then.